Let us discuss surface of revolution. We say that um, a surface of revolution is the surface obtained by revolving the graph of a continuous function about a line. For instance, if we have, uh, say, for a, a straight line like this, y equal to f of x, which is continuous, and um, we revolve it about the line Um, y equal to zero or the x axis so if we do that then we will obtain something like this this that straight line that is that straight line so if we revolve it then we may end up with a figure like that similarly one can take for instance a graph say like that then we revolve it about the x-axis if we do that then again we will expect a figure like that so what we are interested in is to find the area of the surface of the figure that has been formed so, um, to to do that, we uh, must first find, say, the length of our graph. And we know uh, that the length of a graph uh, from uh, the arc length, we, we understand that if we want the, le the, the, the length from this point to that one, then we will be talking of um the integral from say if this is a and then we have b here from a to b um, then we will talk of the square root of one minus dy dx or plus dy dx all squared dx so this is our y equal to f of x this is what we know is the length now since we have rotated it when we rotate this we can see that we are generating a circle and um, for a circle we we know that um, um, the area of a circle is 2 pi r that is why the formula for the surface area is s equal to that 2 pi and then the radius in this case our radius is in terms of x like that so you can see that this formula is closely related to um, the one for arc length the only difference is that now we have got 2 pi r now let us take an example let us take an example uh, as an example let us find the volume uh, no 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 the surface the area of a surface of revolution example find the area of a surface of revolution <laughs> obtained by revolving mm, let us say y equal to 1 over 2 square root of 2 square root of x squared minus x the power of 4 on the interval 0 1 and then we revolve this uh, about the x axis as a solution we understand that we are looking for s equal to 2 pi the integral from a to b which is 0 to 1 r of x which will be given by 
our y there with this formula and then the square root of 1 plus dy dx then we square that dx so again the interesting part of our problem is to find the square root of 1 plus dy dx all squared uh, which can be found using the following let us say now we want to find dy dx to find dy dx we must differentiate this we have got 1 over 2 the square root of 2 uh, x squared minus x to the power of 4 we want d dx of this expression so d dx of this expression when we differentiate we use chain rule we will have the following uh, from what we can see we have this square root 1 over 2 root 2 multiplied by chain rule it will be a half from this multiplied by x squared minus x to the power of 4 this is the power minus 1 over 2 multiplied by the derivative of what is inside which will be 2x minus 4 x to the power of 3 like that so if we try to simplify this a little bit we will get uh, this 2 is common take it out you have got 2 into x minus 2x the power of 3 like that divide this by 2 square root of 2 times 2 square root of x squared minus x the power of 4 and we can see that this is going to give us x minus 2x cube divided by one of the twos will cancel then two square root of two square root of um, x squared minus x to the power of four like that now uh, after doing that we can see uh, that uh, now we must find now we must find um, the square root of one plus dy dx all squared this is what we need to to find so what is it equal to this is equal to one plus that which we just found and then we square it so we have just found um, that um, dy dx is um, x um, minus 2x cube divide this by 2 square root of 2 into x squared minus x to the power of 4 square root this is squared then we take the square root like that so this will be equal to you can see this has been squared you can square that you square that one when you square the bottom one you have four times two which is eight which is eight and then you have got x squared minus x to the power of four to the power of one over two when you square it the square root falls off so we are left with x to the power of 4 minus, uh, sorry, x squared, x squared minus x to the power of 4, like that. And then plus, then we come to this other part. This other part, we are squaring x minus 2 x cube. So when you square that, x squared, uh, x times x is x squared, like that. And then the middle term will be the middle term will be 
the middle term will be as you can see the middle term here will be 4 minus 4 x to the power of 4 and then plus then the last term there is 4 x to the power of 6 like that then we are dividing everything by our denominator which is simply 8 or 2 root 2 whatever 8 no there's no need for me to write this it's just uh, okay it's 8 into x squared minus x to the power of 4 and uh, this is still under the square root sign this will be equal to if you remove the brackets you can see we've got 8x maybe i should write that 8x squared minus 8x the power of 4 plus x the power of 2 minus 4x the power of 4 plus 4x the power of 6 divide everything by um, 8 into x squared minus x the power of 4 under the square root this is equal to uh, 9 x squared this plus that and this is minus 12x to the power of 4 plus 4x to the power of 6 divided by 8 into x squared minus x to the power of 4. Then we take the square root. And uh, this is equal to, you can factorize this. We've got 3x minus 2x cubed. All squared over 8 into x squared minus x to the power of 4 under the square root and this is giving us 3x minus 2x cube if you take the square root over then the bottom one is 2 square root of 2 square root of x squared minus x to the power of 4. So now back to our formula. Remember our formula is s equal to 2 pi the integral from 0 to 1 of rx. What is our r uh, of x? Our r of x as we have seen it's 1 over 2 square root of 2 then square root of x squared minus x to the power of 4 then we are multiplying this by square root of by this which is what we have found here is 3x minus 2x cube over 2 square root of 2 square root of x squared minus x to the power of 4 dx and this is going to be equal to this one and that one will cancel out then you are left with the 2 root 2 times 2 root 2 which is 8 but this side we have got 2 pi so we end up with pi over 4 pi over 4 and then integral from 0 to 1 of 3x minus 2x cube dx like that which is now giving us which is now giving us the following we integrate with respect to x then we get 
our pi over 4 is there. Then the integral of 3x is simply 3x squared over 2. The integral of 2x cubed minus okay, 2x to the power of 4 over 4. This is being evaluated from 0 to 1, which can be seen to be pi over 4. When we put 1 here, we end up with 3 over 2 minus, we put 1 here, we have 1 over 2. We subtract, to put 0, then it will just be 0. Then this is like um, 1. So the answer is pi over 4 square units.